And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. We are still looking for some gasoline and um, a torch. And last time we went to this place and picked up a lock that I think we can use now at this place. Because there was um, a chain um, that it was used to pull up to open a gate. As you can remember, this chain. And the problem was that yeah, when you... Uh, yeah, when you try to enter it, then you obviously have to... Um, uh, let the chain free and then... Yeah. So you can't enter the chain... You can't enter the door, sorry. You can't enter the door and hold the chain at the same time, but we can now, with the help of this lock, probably hold the chain in position. Or can we? Uh, let's do that again. Okay. Can you use the lock on the chain? Hmm. Can I use the lock on the chain? It's open. That's not something I want to lock. Hmm. Okay, apparently my idea was not correct. Hmm. Okay, maybe you use that lock somewhere else then. Although it would make sense, I mean, if you have a if you have a chain and you have a lock, then you can just, yeah, lock two uh, links of the chain together and then hold the chain in position. But maybe, yeah, that's not what happens in this game. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Can't really think of any thing I could use the lock here. The lock the lock on. Hmm. But I still have the feeling that the piece of meat could somehow be That's not one of meat used uses. somewhere here because um we learned that this guy has a dog, even though dog is not here apparently. Hmm. But I've, at the moment I have no idea what to do here, so... Let us look for a new place. Uh, I don't walk. Okay, we can't just walk out of town. Maybe, maybe there was something um, at Maureen's place that we forgot to pick up. There is this mailbox. It's empty. That is empty. Um. Sorry, I was distracted for a moment. Okay, there's this lock pick that is empty. Um. Besides that, there's I think nothing here. Uh. That you can interact with. So let's go back to, let's go into Marine's, Marine's house. Hmm. That's our bike. Um. That's Marine, obviously. There were some pictures and there was a gas a gas can. That we forgot to pick up actually. Should have picked that up. Should have picked that up earlier then. Uh, maybe let's talk to her.
Mo. Yeah, Ben. Okay, um. Hmm. I think she she actually gives us tips. Let's let's see whether this is the case. I'm having a little trouble finding stuff. What's the problem? We have no idea how where to find new forks actually, um, but I know where to find the torch and the gas. Hmm. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You can start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Ah, okay. Um, hmm. So, I think we, um, yeah. Now, now, how to get the, um, the thingy. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know, set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Well, we know who would do that. Because we know who, who stole it. Um, Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, <laughs> I think I can handle it. Good. Okay, let's get uh, back to well, work. I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Mm. So we know we know where the where the forks are, but the gas is where the torch is. Um however we don't know how to get all these all of these items. Maybe we should get to, back to the tower because I think um Maybe we could, uh, yeah. Um, we haven't run out of uh, um, out of options there yet, out of ideas. Okay, that's clearly um, secured by. Se okay, this is clearly secured by a watchtower that shines a light on here, so we can't just w climb the ladder. Um, so I think we have to cut the power somehow. So that probably involves using, manipulating the electric fence. Okay, there is... The fence is actually not clickable. It will appear. Uh, hmm. The top of this fence is electrified. Hmm. Also, we can't close the door anymore. Hmm. Well, I can't see how a, a lock or a lock pick or a piece of meat would help here. But maybe a piece of meat will help here. That's not one of meat's many no. uses. Uh That's not something. Yeah. We're still missing something else, apparently. Hmm. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. Hmm. Let's go back to the junkyard. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Hmm. Maybe we have to just knock on the door. Open up, Todd. No. 
Yeah. We can't just take it in. Open up, Todd. But there's a latch. No mark. This should be easy. Hmm. Okay, now there's a lock on the ledge. Uh, ah. Ah, junk. Okay, that's how you solve that puzzle. Now we're in the junkyard. Um. And there are some car wrecks. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Hmm. Probably better not step into the light, I would say. What's this? Cars, no thank you. Hmm. So I guess then it's the parts pile. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. Can you grab the fork? <laughs> Oh. Uh. Down. Hey, but we have a piece of meat. Did we get the? No, we didn't get the um. Uh, the fork. Okay, so let's probably use the meat. On the parts pile. That's not one of meat's many no. uses. Hmm. Okay, how do we get the fork? Ah. Okay, that's how we can attract the dog's attention. Down. Okay, another puzzle. Um, that if there's, if there's any logic to this puzzle at all, must involve this piece of meat. Okay, the only problem is how to um, how to apply that piece of meat. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Yeah, not a good idea. Um, ah, but the place goes on. Okay. Let's see what's on the other side. Ah, okay, I think I now figured out that puzzle. Um, and when we go back, folks, we shall see whether that is the case, actually. So until next time, folks, until um, then. Until then. <laughs>